Are you ready to find out the best bumper options and slider options for your RC crawler? Tune in and find out more from RC Review. Okay, today we're going to talk about something I really haven't seen on YouTube, which is bumper options and slider options. It is a very, very important part of your RC crawler. Um, next, first comes your tires, then your body. Next thing you want, want to think about is your bumpers, front and rear bumpers, and to some effect, your sliders. So first, some background. So what is the purpose of a bumper? The purpose of a bumper is in a real car, in a one-to-one -one car, your vehicle that you drove, is one, to protect your radiator. And once your radiator is gone or punctured, your car stops. Second, protect your sheet metal. Any kind of, any kind of damage to your sheet metal is um, thousand bucks, two thousand bucks these days. And the third, is they actually protect the driver. So a lot of bumpers are impact absorbing um, and they protect the bumper from the driver from shock. But when we talk RC crawlers, all three of these don't exist. So really, you gotta question why you have your bumpers. Why? Because they are a huge detriment to crawling. So the problems with the, with the bumpers is they affect your approach angle. Approach angle is, is how is the angle from the bottom of your tire uh, to the tip of your bumper. So that's your approach angle. And the, 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 the more sloped it is, or the more, the more slanted it is, the harder it is for you to crawl up rocks. The parture angle is the, just the opposite, but on the rear. The second thing is they hang up. Um, something like this will hit a rock with no slide whatsoever, and you're just stuck there. And the last thing is they don't allow your front tire to get in contact with a rock um, or, or the steep hill. And unless your tire is grabbing that rock, you're not going anywhere. So those are the problems. For crawlers, though, uh, we want realism. You know, we're in scale trail crawlers. Uh, you don't want just having, you, you want something that kind of looks like your real car or a real vehicle. So that's, that's the main purpose why we have bumpers, right? So let's not forget that. Uh, for uh, competition, class one rules says you got to have a bumper. And you got to have a bumper as wide as your tires, the edge of your tires. So if you, if you compete, you got to play with those, by those rules. And if you have a really good bumper, like in your, uh, in your rock crawlers in the real world, they actually help you climb up rocks. They, ha they help you go, go up rocks because they provide lift and slide. Um, you can just ride those sliders, those bumpers and it'll, 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 it'll lift you up. So anyway, so that's the background. What are the solutions for improved crawling performance? The first one is you get rid of them. <laughs> Just remove them. You know, so this is the, the Element RC bumper. We got rid of it. Oh, here it is. We got rid of it. The vehicle improved crawling performance by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Almost double. Um, so that's your first option. Get rid of your, get rid of your bumpers if it's, if it's really uh, hindering performance. And as long as your, your leg sand can take it, you're, you're not beating it up. You're not, we're usually going two miles an hour anyway. You know, you're, you're not falling off cliffs and whatnot. Then you're fine. The next thing you can do is push them in. So usually when you get your ready-to-run kit, your bumpers are way out here. Push them in. Push them in. You know, that improves your approach angle. Uh, they, they hang up less. The other thing is push them up. The way you push them up is you, you flip them, you know. You flip the mounts, go like this, and you usually get elevated a few millimeters. And the last thing you could do, and these are all free, free by the way, right? I'll charge you later, is you cut them. So this used to be this wide. This is a Land Rover TRX4 Defender bumper. I just cut them, made it look halfway decent and this performs so much better. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
than, than this because it allows your tire to contact your, uh, your rock, so to speak. And then I found out later that there's a lot of bumpers. You know, this, this bumper is similar to, to what I did. Another bumper right here. So, so that's your DIY mods. But uh, the last option, which is really what this video is all about, is there's a lot of third-party options out there. You know, they, they, they know this problem exists, and I'm not sure why RTR people just give you these awful bumpers, but there's a lot of options exist. So I'll, I'll just run through them a little bit. The, the number one thing that I'm using right now, so I used to have this bumper. This is an Element RC. Um, I used to have this, and I replaced it with this. So this is a Vanquish bumper for $14 for a pair. And you can tell it's lower profile, it's more tubular, um, it, so it slides better, no sharp edges, and it's got these ramps. So when you hit a rock here, it'll just, it'll just lift itself up of a bumper. So um, it all, uh, bumpers also have the, uh, another purpose of uh, hosting a winch right here. So this is your Vanquish bumper, one that I'm most happiest with because performance is amazing and it's only... 14 bucks. We have uh, some of the most popular options are RC four wheel drive. I'm not sure if I have any right here, but similar to bumpers is sliders. Everything I mentioned about bumpers, same thing is happening with sliders. So they're in the way. Um, and here's an RC four wheel drive slider, tubular steel. You hit a rock here, it allows you to slide and pivot the rock, the car over a rock. Scalar fab is a very popular uh, aftermarket bumper manufacturer for uh, a lot of axles. Proline, a lot of plastic bumpers, uh, nice detailed, not very high performance, but pretty darn good and durable. Hot racing. Oh, one, one of my favorites is Worthy Made. Worthy Made is, uh, has these very low profile bumpers similar to the Vanquish, where the bumper really you want uh, and you'll see this in real vehicles, is a bumper that, that hugs your, your body really close. So you're almost not affecting your approach and departure angles, but you're actually adding, uh, giving it a benefit by giving it some slide over the body. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention was a lot of our ready-to-runs have that double bumper effect. Um, so the, the Lexan has a bumper right there. You're already done, really. But then... When you get the kit, they put this in front. So you have a bumper in front of a bumper. It looks awful. Um, so what you really want is something like this, where um, you, know, you, have a, you have a bumper, but you have a little lifter here, or kind of, kind of a crawler, crawler bumper. So it's a lot better option. SSD makes some good bumpers. And then one of the ones I know of is Night Customs, very expensive. Uh, and I'm kind of against these people who who, who will charge you $150, 200 bucks for front and rear bumpers. I mean, what's the point of that? <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys the options uh, that are available out there. So that's my spiel on bumpers and sliders. Uh, it's something that you want to take a look at, modify, improve, remove, um, or upgrade. Uh, so let me know what what what's your favorite bumper? You know what what are you running and on what kind of vehicle and has it improved your performance? Thanks a ton.